The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey yo, so tis the season for spooks and scares. And no, that is not a reference to the CIA knocking on your door. It is a reference to what captures my imagination this time of year. And that's a good old-fashioned mystery. A good local legend that demands hands-on field investigation. That's kind of the backbone of my recent chat with Joshua Cutchin, which hopefully you heard earlier today. It's also the backbone of a new podcast called Blackwood from my friends at Wondery. I've really gotten into these fictional podcasts the last year or so and these audio dramas, and I'm always on the lookout for some good horror audio. And this sounds like it might be my Halloween time listen of choice. If you're into stories about the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot, you'll probably dig this story of three small town teenagers who start a podcast to investigate an urban legend called the Blackwood Bugman who's linked to a host of mysterious disappearances and murders in the area. And of course, the kids soon find out that the danger is much more real than they first thought, as stories like this tend to go. And somehow, I managed to finagle my way into hearing a preview of this podcast, and somehow I finagled my way into being able to share it here with you guys. This format is something I'm interested in, with audio drama. It's something my patrons on Patreon are hearing me experiment with right now throughout the month of October. So this might not only be a preview of Blackwood, it might also be a preview of similar content that may turn up on O'Culture sometime in the near future. This clip is of three teenagers, Molly, Brian, and Nathan, as they slowly begin to realize that maybe they bit off a bit more than they could chew by investigating this Blackwood Bugman urban legend. And if you're interested in hearing more Blackwood, I put a link in the show notes or check it out wherever you listen to podcasts. Enjoy. Five years ago, three teenagers from the small town of Blackwood, Connecticut, started an investigation into a local legend. We are officially recording. Uh, Wait, hold on. Within weeks, their names would be added to a long list of tragedies in town. Everything you're about to hear was recorded by them. All of it. It wasn't until recently that I got access to the audio and decided to make some edits. Mr. Fallon, she doesn't know what she's doing. Just hold on one second. I wrote a script. It's somewhere in here. Of course you did. These recordings might help unravel what happened to them. Only one escaped, another institutionalized, and the last is missing to this day. Three lives ruined. All in the course of recording the Blackwood podcast. You can kick against his thickly scaled body, scratch at his bulging red eyes, but you won't escape the Blackwood Bugman. With a twitch, he sinks his razor-sharp teeth into his prey, draining the blood and replacing it with his mind-warping venom. Welcome to the Blackwood Podcast. My name is Molly Weaver, and on the show, we're going to learn where this terrifying local legend started and figure out why few people will talk about it today. I'm sitting with my fellow producers, Brian Anderson. Don't wave. Say hello or something. Uh, hello. Hello. And Nathan Howell. Hey. Brian, let's start with you. What is the version of the Blackwood Bugman that you know? Ooh, good question. Um, I don't know. I always imagined the Bugman as like the Terminator meets the fly. You know, dripping wet, disgusting, but basically just a giant bodybuilder who casually eats people. Okay. Is that what you heard when you were younger, or is that just what you imagine? Uh, <laughs> it's definitely probably just what I imagined. I heard he's like a protector, you know, he protects the woods and stuff. So you're saying he's not a Terminator who eats people? No, but it's dope, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> and Nathan, you're new to Blackwood. Are you, I mean, is that a question? Well, I just, I wonder if we can get a perspective of the legend from the new boy in town. <laughs> you want to answer the question, new boy? Did I say new boy? <laughs> Did I? Uh, okay, um, let's, let's take that again. 
Molly and Brian, having been friends their whole lives, typically spent their summers working on a project. When they were 11, they tried to start a band. At 13, they wanted to shoot their own alien movie. But at the end of their sophomore year of high school, Nathan Howell moved to town and eventually joined the team. Inspired by their favorite horror podcast, Molly and Brian wanted to produce their own show, be the first to release a full breakdown of the Blackwood Bugman legend. Nathan's motivations were a little less creative. I mean, there's nothing else to do in this town. There's tons of stuff to do here. Like what? Go to the mall? Or the movie theater? Which is in the mall? Yes. Your mom never talked about creepy stuff from her hometown? I mean, no. No, she never really talked about Blackwood at all. We wouldn't even be here if she didn't have to take care of my grandpa, so I'm just glad there's some stupid monster to talk about. That's not totally stupid. People have seen it. Like, people have said they've seen Bigfoot, right? What, so you're saying Bigfoot isn't real? Dude, come on. You don't know. Listen, I'm not saying I definitely believe in the bug man. I'm just saying there's like a lot of people that do. Some say the Blackwood bug man is timeless. An ageless demon watching over this region since before mankind even existed. Yeah, wait, hold up. How do you do that? Do what? You sound like an actual reporter. I am an actual reporter. And so are you. Okay, let's go. Blackwood for life! Oh, God, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> guys, guys, shut up. Here's somebody comes. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir? Do you have a second to talk about a local legend? Not today, sorry. All right, well, we're off to a great start. Well, that's a good example of something I can just edit out. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, ma'am, have you ever heard of the Blackwood Bugman? You're blocking the sidewalk. Yeah, you suck at this dude. Oh, yeah? You try it. I will try it. Um, all right, what about this guy over here? All right. Uh, pardon me, sir, but have you heard of the Blackwood Bugman? Bugman? Sing. What's that, a, a movie? Mmm, shit. Sure I've heard of him. Some nonsense about scaring kids, right? My son scratched up my car and blamed the Bugman. Does that count? I have a cousin who said she saw it. Really? Can we talk to her? She's dead. I'm so sorry. How did she die? None of your business. Have a good day. Uh, yeah, so her cousin was definitely killed by the Bugman. This sucks. Honestly, this is kind of what I was expecting. It's why our podcast is interesting. It's interesting because no one gives a shit? No one talks about the bug man. But it's such a weird story. There's like kidnappings and stuff. I mean, there has got to be some truth to it. Maybe. Oh, you look, how about her? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you believe in the Blackwood bug man? <laughs> uh, when, when I was a kid? Sure. Why? Oh, uh, wow. Um, that That's great. <clears throat> uh... We are recording a show about local legends. Can we ask you some questions? Ask away. Thank you. <clears throat> First of all, what's your name? Karen. Full name? Uh, Karen Patterson. I've lived in Blackwood my whole life. What do you think you know about the Blackwood bug man? He just means, well, you get it. <laughs> yeah, like, just um, tell us the way you heard it, like you're telling us an urban legend. Oh, this is fun. Let me see. So, I heard the Bugman lives in Prescott Park. He sleeps during the day, comes out at night to hunt for campers. Kind of like a vampire or a mosquito, I guess. Excellent. Would you say you believe in the Bugman? Well, kinda, yeah. Seriously? Sure. My pop used to tell me the story about uh, a girl who got carried away by the Bugman. I used to make him tell it when I had sleepovers. <laughs> Does your father still live in town? Oh, he lives right down the street. Do you want to come talk to him? Thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us. Oh, my pleasure. Seem like nice kids. I am a very nice kid. I met the other two. Sir, would you mind stating your name for the recording? Uh, yeah, uh, Richard Patterson. And have you lived in Blackwood your whole life? No. I grew up in New York. My family moved here when I was uh, about 12. How come? My father got a job in the mill. Speaking of which, you're Stuart Howe's grandson. Yeah. You look like him a little. Do you believe in the bug man, Mr. Patterson? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 I do. Why do you think so few people believe in him? Well, I suppose it's easier not to. I guess so. Your daughter told us you know a story of a girl who saw it? She was one of the victims, yes. What do you mean? I mean, she was taken by him. That's awesome. Her name was Abby Dunn. She'd been seeing Matt Cooper, used to run the post office. 
No, his kid does. Arnold. Paul. Right, right, Arnold. Loses half my mail every week. Anyway, Matt Cooper told me they'd snuck a few of his father's beers out. Went to park down by the woods. They were drinking. And, well, suddenly Abby starts screaming. Says she saw someone in the woods. The bug man. Cooper looks and sees nothing. But she swears she saw someone watching them. Does Abby's family still live in town? No, no. Her folks moved away not long after everything happened. So you've never seen the bug man yourself? Never. Thank God. Did you ever think Abby just ran away? N- no. Uh, no, Abby's body was found. They, they say she might have fallen down a rock face, but... She died? Banged up beyond recognition, just like the others. Uh, sorry, when you say the others, you mean... The, the other victims. Pop, I thought this was a made-up story. What? No. No, I mean, maybe I held back some of the details. You, you were just a kid, but... No. Abby... Abby died in those woods. No one wanted to hear it, but I always figured she and Cooper got into an argument. Probably got out of the car to get away from him. Ran into some trouble. It would be really easy to get lost out there. Yeah, and it wouldn't take much to end up hurt. But no. No, I think it was the bug man that got her. So you're being for real? You really think that a bug man ate your friend? What? The Blackwood bug man? The legend about... What are you about... talking about here? I'm not talking about some creature. But you said the bug man. The bug man I'm talking about is a real person. A real killer. Uh, Molly, have you ever heard of this shit? No. Well, there aren't a lot of people who believe he exists. But these deaths weren't accidents and monsters don't exist. Someone was behind it all. That was just a preview of Blackwood. To hear the rest of this episode, subscribe to Blackwood on Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts, or find a link in the episode notes.